What's up, gang? How's it going? Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving that celebrates. If you're not doing anything till this weekend, or you did something today, or whatever you did. Uh, yeah, turkey hangover today. Of course, we ate leftovers too, so it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse than expected. Derek, how's it going, Spider? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Crystal, how are you? Jeffrey, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Chase coming in with 50, 50 months. 50 months of sub support. I cannot even believe it's been that long. <laughs> it's too long, man. That's too long. Uh, throw some hearts and plunges, some gold TP, some sub hypes, and chat for Chase. Thank you, buddy. So very much. Much appreciated. Bone, what's up, man? I, I figured it passed your bedtime, Bone. <laughs> What's up, buddy? You're on late? I am, yeah. I decided I would do something. Uh, we've been watching movies and hanging out all day, so... I was like, I better go stream at least, do something tonight. So, I missed the YouTube stream today again. I know, I've got a video I'm trying to get edited and get out tomorrow on YouTube. For the Farm Sim Saturday, I guess, on, on YouTube. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting this out. I don't need this right. Well, I'm going to need it anyway. I'll well go ahead and pull it over there. Holy crap, hang on. My wheel's doing that thing where the the force feedback on it's like maximized for some reason. I'm having to having to really work to turn the wheel right now. It's the weekend. Yeah, I know. I'm just messing with you, buddy. Uh, let me see if I can get this. I don't think this tractor's gonna go in there, but I'm gonna see if I can back up to this uh, this baler right here and at least get it out of the way. I need to get the mower out. And we're gonna need the baler shortly thereafter. We will probably get done mowing before I have got to sleep tonight, but. Oh, okay, well that's, that's just gonna be awkward right there, isn't it? Hammer down, there we go. Just hammer down, it'll come loose. It'll come loose. Doing Heston bells today, yes sir. I gotta get it mowed first, but yeah, we're doing Heston bells. Go ahead and unfold this thing, take a peek at it here. It's a very large, large machine. This Heston Bells are. Alright, let's just cut that off. I'll jump over to the John Deere. And as you can see, I got everything repaired and put away and that kind of stuff too, so... Uh, I told you guys I would get that done. I did. I jumped on for a little bit last night, I think. J-Rock, how's it going, bud? Hope you're doing well today. Let's go grab the mower. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, but we, yeah, we're gonna try to do some Heston bales in uh, silage, I think, and we'll see how that goes because that's all of our new equipment is is uh, a bale wrapper, the trailer, and uh, the baler. So we'll go ahead and do some silage bales and see what happens. There we go. I can't wait to actually use all this stuff. It's going to be quite nice. It's going to be quite nice, I think. Go ahead and get this bad boy unfolded right here. Depending on which side it comes off, we'll... Uh... God, I got to... I got to get this thing to, to lighten up here. In a minute, it's going to lighten up. I'm going to throw my shoulder out trying to turn the wheel. Is the story still going on? It is, yeah, but I haven't talked to anybody in a while, though. Um, I think the last time we talked to Ray was around March or April, so we'll probably we'll probably reach out uh, next month just to check on everything. Um, I've been wanting to, to wanting to add some um, some software to my to my tractors. That way, if I'm not in it, I can still program a course. For, for Jimmy and know that he's going to stay on course uh, even if harvesting so I think we're going to try to shoot for that sometime soon as well so um, we'll have we'll end up having to talk to talk to Ray again soon about that so that should work out but yeah uh, Chase is right too uh, aggro and heavy machineries grow, go in uh, hours and not miles hours used
Yeah, right, Charlotte? I'm telling you. Pretty crazy. And yeah, I could have been swapping this back and forth the whole time. I just didn't. Too lazy for that. I'll well go ahead and take out this little bit at the top right here. It ain't much, but since it's right up against the field, we'll do it. And there's probably a little bit I missed through here with the headland anyway. I didn't do one. Just like boats. That's true, yeah. Lawnmowers, four-wheelers, ATVs, side-by-sides. They all go in hours. Hours of operation use, or op operating use, whatever. That's what mods are for, you can turn this stuff way down. I mean, I probably should have picked, I know there's one where you can, uh, you can manipulate the price, and I probably should have done that, honestly. But again, this has been my main tractor for a while, so. I've used this one tractor for a lot of stuff on here. But we're about to get some Heston bales flipped out here and see how that works out. Hopefully it's gonna work out real well. I hope it does anyway. pay your worker 200 an hour yeah but that's way cheaper than the 1500 an hour basic game is though like that's turned way down considering better get straight here we'll set up our gps Thing's probably got a pretty wide pickup on it. We're gonna try it like this and see. I can always move that in, but I like having that little overlap on the outside there. That's not really much of an overlap either. So if you look at where the line is versus where, versus where the actual uh, spinny bits are. But the baler could just grab that? Probably. That thing's probably got a pretty wide pickup on it. That's all right, though. Take one last trip down through here. Some nice, neat rows down through there. It doesn't look good. That's what it's supposed to look like when you get done. Oh, they changed the info on the 22nd. Okay. To release date of 2022. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, see? I don't know then, man. I, I, I'm, I'm betting that's when the Sengoku is supposed to come out. It's February, February 16th. Because it says the first quarter of 2023. That's the only news I've seen on Sengoku. But I haven't gone and actually dug around and looked for leaks or anything like that either. So, um, I'd be willing to bet that's the case, though. All right, we'll put this, we'll, we'll wash all this stuff up later. We're probably going to have another field to do at some point. But we'll just back this in there for right now. And I may actually put the baler over in the big barn there because that baler is a bit big to be in here with everything else. With the Vermeer baler, it actually worked out pretty well, but this thing right here, uh, not, not that big, so... I don't know, maybe if I do this, yeah, it'll leave me plenty of room to get in and out of there. It'll be alright. I'm going to go ahead and hook to the wrapper because we're going to need the wrapper after the baler anyway, so. Raise Heston wrapper. All right.
right, let's go. Is the wrapper modified to handle the bales? Yeah, that's the one me and you worked on, J-Rock. That's the one I tested out that night. I tested with this exact setup except for the tractor. Yeah, that's Ray, that's Ray's modified Heston wrapper, yeah. That's how I'm selling it anyway, you know. Gotta sell it that way. Now, let's make sure we can't change the size of the bales. We cannot, okay. They're one size fits all. I wanna see how big the grass bales are though. Because the biggest silage bale was what, 7,500? What's the biggest square bale leader-wise for grass? Do you remember? Anybody? This one looks like 9,000. Oh no, it's a little more than that. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. 9,000. So it's the same size then? It's the same amount of leaders? That's silly. Well, there was no point in getting this thing than there was there. Other than their Heston bells, and they look cool. They're really big. They're not really that much bigger than the the regular bales. The Heston bales should be more liters of grass, though. In my mind, they should. No sites are talking about it, no advertising. Also, a little birdie told me they have Lumberjack Dynasty voice actors in it. So I'm sure the dialogue will be fantastic. Yeah. Oh, boy. You know, I do a pretty good southern accent. Um, it's a shame they want everybody to work in-house. There's one size of that thing. The sun is right in my face, man. I hate this late afternoon sun on this map. It's just really bright. Right in your face. They could have done more with Lumberjack Dynasty. They could have. Um, it was a great concept, but it got old real quick for me. As, as old as uh, Farmer's Dynasty is, that's probably still one of my favorite games that they've done, honestly. 9277. What's the... Is it 9300 for these? Is that what it is? I know there's not that many bales on this field. No, 93. Okay, there's some more up here, and there's some more on... That side, too. What was that? What is happening right now? This thing just tabbed me out for some reason. Oh. I see. Hang on. Apple update. No, go away. Jesus. Annoying, man. Like it pauses everything I'm doing to do that, too. Frickin' Apple. 93, 80. 99%. Huh, this is gonna be close. Just slightly bigger than default. It seems like 9,400 is probably going to be it, yeah. Push that one over out of the way there. 9,400. Cool. Spit them out. Cool. Whoa. Dang it, did it again. I don't think we're getting up from this, folks. I always forget. I cannot go that fast.
Okay, then. J Rock with the five bits. Thank you, man, for the five bits. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I'll go fix this mess. You watch me. That's not what I meant to happen. Yeah, so we get this thing flipped over since it is early in the year and the days are still pretty short. We'll go ahead and go sleep. Get off into January 2nd. Oops, indeed, yeah. Oops, indeed. Get up there. We get close. Let's try it again. We did it before. We can do it again. I promise. I say that. There we go. Dang, that thing's a pain in the butt right there. Thanksgiving hangover. You got it. This telehandler's been good, man. I'd like to have one of those big JCBs like uh, Ray's got down at the shop, but this little guy right here's been good to us. I want to I see how hard it is to pick those bales up, though. That's those Heston bells are going to be hefty. Very hefty bales. Yeah, so I think these right here, 3,500, those are the 120 centimeter bales, and they're only 3,500. I think the big silage bales were only 7,500. The round bales, anyway. Try not to turn that sharp anymore, huh? Whoops. Hefty Hestons. Yes, sir. Hefty boogers right there. Uh, so I've been thinking, instead of doing a field right here again, I think I may put another greenhouse down over there. I think we maybe go with a row of greenhouses or something down through there. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I like the idea. All right. Let's get around here now. Like so. Pretty straight. Okay, not not really, but it's close. It's close enough. I hear a little tick in the engine on this thing now. I guess it's because uh, we left it flipped over. All right, get them ready to go for tomorrow. Asleep and we will go. Almost sleep till nine because. Kind of hurts my feelings a bit, not gonna lie. That building down there should have a snow mask on it. And I honestly thought to myself, too, it ain't gonna matter. We'll leave them sitting out over tonight. Overnight, it's not supposed to rain. No, it's supposed to snow, though. Wild. How come there's no snow on the road right here? Fresh gravel. That's all it is. We'll, we'll chalk it up to fresh gravel. All right, here's the test. Uh, let's turn auto drop. Did not have an auto drop on it? Yeah, turn on auto drop. There's a true test right here, folks, if I did it right. And with, with J-Rock's help, I modded this thing to hold the uh, Heston bales. Uh, how sweet is that? Look at it sinking down in the snow right there. That's pretty dang cool, man. I like it.
At least you don't have to pull out a torch to stop freezing. Yeah, that's true. Let's get in the tractor cab. Pretty doggone neat. Eston wrappers. Oh, that's true too. They do they do retain heat longer. Yeah, like the road over there does not even doesn't even have any snow on it, so. Uh, and it's only 31, so it's barely it's barely cold enough for it to be sticking to anything, really. Pretty doggone nice. Now the the downside to that that bell stacker we got, we're gonna have to come across this way at these because you have to pick them up long ways. So gonna be a bit tricky. They look even more marshmallowy in the snow. They do, don't they? If it was freezing for a while, yeah, maybe, but um, it was like 45 the day before. This is the first day down below freezing, and the snow sticking to everything, it seems like. Oof. You can definitely tell the snow's on the ground, too. When you go to turn, it, like, it whips it around there pretty good. We'll try to line these up the best I can, anyway. So we're going to have to go crossways across the field to pick them up, so. They absolutely nailed the sounds for the game. I love it. All right, there we go. Done wrapping them up. Wrapping them money presents out on the field. You got to love that. Yeah, they nailed the sounds for the game, though. Good stuff. Now we get to use the bell stacker. Something I've been waiting on for the longest right here. Be easy now. Easy. And I think it's about time we have some more cows delivered, too. We need to look and see which ones are going to be coming to maturity soon. Um... Just to make sure we don't overload ourselves, how many we're going to have. I don't think we will. I think we're fine. There we go. I'm going to leave this. Move. It's cold out here. Uh, I'm going to leave that sitting there. Get in the tractor quick. All right, now this thing right here is kind of weird. Okay, so if we unfold. I gotta look at the keys because I don't know what unfolds it. Unfold it to Z. Okay. There we go. That's the one I want. Go a little further and then I want to lift and lower. I think I actually have to lift and lower this thing. Uh, operating position. Well, let's go try this out here. And you see what I mean? I'm gonna have to come at it uh, at the right angle here because if I, if I stab it straight on, it's not gonna take it. I gotta come at it sideways. So. Something else I like is got the uh, this wheel support right here. Check this out. I can't even see it because of the the glare on the on the screen there. Hang on, let's come around this way. All right, so this wheel right here, right? It's a wheel support for when you pick those bales up because those bales are so heavy. Pretty neat. It's hard to turn like that, but uh, it's better to have it than not have it, I guess. All right, let's swing it around and get in position here. And try this. Still way faster than me manually stacking these, I promise. Boom. Okay. Oh, it automatically goes down. Okay, it must have updated it. I thought we had to do something to make it go down. We don't. Sweet. And it holds 10 bales. So, I don't know how many bales we had out here. Probably more than 10, though. Oh, see, now it's... There we go. 
Yeah, we had to actually flip it down that time. So it looks like every time you uh, you complete the set, maybe it does it. This is down again. I think that's what it is. When it completes the set, you have to hit V and then B, I think. We'll see. Let's try it here and see. All right, so if we hit B. Okay, yeah, you have to hit V and then B. So you got to go uh, unfold or, or fold down and then operating position. So it's kind of neat, though. When it completes the set. It's not a big deal. It's still way, way faster. Way faster. Maybe it's B and then V. That's what it is. I'll figure it out in a second. We gotta do operating position and then lower. What it is. Very nice though. And I know you're not supposed to pick up Heston bales with a, I mean, a silage bales with a spike. I get that. All right, I got five more left out here, so 15 Heston bales. Uh, come on, trailer, hang on now. You finished the cruise in Texas, Oklahoma's next. Nice, Bob. Heck yeah, man. I do want to try something out here, though. I'm going to straighten it back out. And we'll try to stand these bells up inside here. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but... We're going to find out. I bet they will, but I don't know for sure. Okay, how do I unstack these now? Uh, transporting position, so there we go. All right, that's transporting position. Uh, it's actually got tension belts, too. Oh, look at that when you strap them bad boys down. Heck yeah, all right, so unload. They're gonna fit. This was my worry. I wouldn't be able to get them in here, but they do. They do fit. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna back them up to the wall there. Cool. And then we go Y again, right? Unload. Whoo, so much faster. That is so much faster than anything we've done so far. Sheesh. That right there is a game changer, for sure. That right there is a game changer. Uh, I am pretty excited about that. Now, getting them back on there may be harder uh, because uh, it's not like the ones from in-game, right? I can't just roll up there and... and it magically pop them out from the bottom. It's got to be, um, I would assume anyway, because you have to like drive right up to them. Like it won't grab it until the forks stick it. So, like the ones from in the game kind of magically pull them or whatever. But oh, you have to hit V twice. I see. Okay, so if you hit V twice, it, it automatically sets back down. I got it. Now. I think I got it now, anyway. Let's see, let's let this one reset. I'm just gonna push V twice and see if it folds back down. Yep, there we go. Oh, we're in, we're in transporting position, I think. Oh no, what happened? Okay, strange, I don't know what's going on with this one. Very weird. Again, you, you have to be lined up pretty close to right with this or it won't pick them up. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was just off. Yeah, that's what it was. I was just off a bit. 
There we go. Strap them down. Whoa. Okay, don't use the straps. Straps don't work. Like they strap everything down. Don't do that. Also, you got this arm that you can go in and out with too here. You can actually send it. You can push it further out away from you. Or pull it closer to you. Pretty neat. So very cool. What's up, Dave? How's it going, bud? What would happen if you hit the end? Nothing. Hey, like you saw me hit it even slightly off center and it wouldn't even pick it up. I don't think anything would happen. I'm going to leave these on this trailer for now. If we end up doing like hay bales or something later, I'll take it back off. But Yeah, I don't think anything would happen if you hit, it, hit the end of it, Bob. Just because it's so finicky. And I knew that going in. Like, I knew that with this mod. And that's... Honestly, that's the reason I, I wanted this mod is because it does kind of, it adds a little bit of realism to it, you know? Because you got to be somewhat square when you hit a bale or it's not going to grab it, so. There we go. Boom. Done. 15, 9,400 liter silage bales. Where we were doing, our biggest, our biggest bales were these 180 centimeter straw bales over here, and that was 11,000 liters, but... This is a this is a hundred uh a hundred uh a hundred eighty centimeter grass bale. It's only seventy five hundred. Uh one hundred twenty five centimeter. The the silage bales we sold. I wish I still had one of those. They were one hundred fifty centimeters. But the um the square bales are two hundred forties, but they're one point two times point nine, where these Heston bales are one point two times one point three two forties. So. Uh, they're slightly bigger. So, like j -Rock said, instead of 9,000, it's 9,400. Which, again, makes a huge difference. You know, because every 100 bales or something, whatever it is, you know, every... Whatever makes 9,000 out of that, you get it. It's an extra bale for not having to pick up an extra, extra bale. So, it's pretty neat. Oh, well, cool. Uh, we'll probably end up doing another grass cut in the spring, though. As uh, After we plant, we'll probably get another grass cut in. So we'll do that too. But yeah, the the, the field purchase would be good, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting on certain fields to come up for auction. So I'm not trying to buy fields outright because I can get them at least at least 40% less if I if I bid, if I win the bid in an auction. So if we end up having to buy it outright because we lose the auction, that's fine. But uh, let's see, repair 526. It did. Yeah, it paid for fuel and it paid for that. So that's really good. That's really good. But yeah, that's what that's kind of what I'm waiting on on land is I want to uh, I want to try to get one on an auction somewhere because I know it's gonna be a lot cheaper. That's a really narrow tire spread there for the center of that thing. Yeah, I, I want to kind of wait and get one on an auction somewhere. Probably should have washed this thing off. That'd be okay though. It'll be alright until February. Uh, nothing else I can do for now. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, again, just kind of a, a last minute. I'm going to go stream kind of deal. So I appreciate you guys for being here as always. When we come back, the snow is probably going to be gone. And uh, we'll be into February. We'll buy some more cows in February. We'll get started prepping to plant uh, some oats over on field 10 here. Uh, and probably just plant grass uh, here. And I may go ahead and plow that little bit of area up. Just have a grass field all the way down on this side. Uh, I may paint this. We'll spend some money and get and get some grass seed put in here uh, and make us a little road through and then put down another greenhouse. I think having a second greenhouse would be good too. So at least one more. Maybe put two or three more down. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, more greenhouses would be good. Um, they're a pretty decent money maker when January rolls around to be able to sell that lettuce for a good solid price. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see in the long run. I'm not sure yet. We may have to put down a little storage shed or something for those... Uh, um, uh, pallets of lettuce too so we can store them up until then so we'll see we'll see how it goes I'm not sure yet but we'll see uh, I appreciate you guys remember if you're new uh, I have YouTube channels uh, just go to exclamation point link tree in chat here or just find the about section link tree uh, here on Twitch and find me over there you'll find all these videos on the Farmer Deuce channel on YouTube uh, I'm playing Dinkum over on Pixel Deuce Plays and my main YouTube channel I stream Monday through Friday most weeks uh, next week I've got a, a, two appointments on Monday so I probably won't be here um, sadly. But we're doing Medieval Dynasty on Tuesday next week instead of Monday. So 
I appreciate you guys. I will see y'all next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks. Awesome.